Chris from West Coast Sailing, and I'm excited to show you the RS Quest. The Quest is one of our most popular sailboats, and let's look at the great features. Starting with the stern of the boat, the rudder system from RS is extremely nice. It's a very simple kick-up rudder design, where if you just pull up hard on the tiller, the rudder is able to pivot down, and once the rudder is all the way down, it locks in in a comfortable tiller angle, and you've got the extension for hiking. If we look down here, there's scuppers on either side of the transom. Uh, this allows a fully self-bailing cockpit, uh, which is really nice. Uh, no more bailing. A really thoughtful detail from RS Sailing is the way they've designed the area of the boat that supports the rudder. Their design allows for through-bolted rudder hardware, which is much stronger than the competition, which uses self-tapping screws. Another nice thing about the stern of the Quest is there's an outboard motor mount, so you can put a small electric or two horsepower gas outboard on the boat. The RS Quest has a centerline main sheet, which keeps the cockpit uncluttered. The Quest has a rigid vang strut, which is really nice compared to a traditional rope vang, because the cockpit area for the crew is very clear. This uses compression in the strut, and it's adjusted with this line right here. The Quest comes standard with a roller furling jib sail. Getting rid of that jib is that easy. This Quest is equipped with our favorite accessory, which is the asymmetrical spinnaker. There's a single line that you use to hoist the sail and extend the spinnaker pull. If you pull the line the exact opposite direction, it douses the sail and retracts the spinnaker pull. It is so cool. Oh,